I've learned is I must, something else has happened that's dramatically changed my life. Really, I just don't feel tired and I'm so excited to show you. It looks so much better than... And it's like, why are we here? What's going on? She was like, I organised that. And I was like, no way. But I'm really into my yellow at the moment. Wow. It is a staple and I don't know what they think of what I do. What a beautiful morning it is. I'm turning into one. Let's see how long they last. Hello, I have just got back from a playgroup that I was running, but I wanted to show you my outfit because I love it. I'm really pleased with it. I was really quickly getting ready this morning at like six o'clock and it's now lunchtime nearly. And I was like, what can I wear? What can I wear? And one thing I've learned is I must lay things out the night before because I just don't have time in the mornings. It's manic. We leave this house at about quarter to seven on a good day, 10 to seven, seven on a really bad day. And we all need to be in the car and it is crazy and chaotic and just very stressful. But everything needs to be laid out the night before and I do all the kids and I get all that ready. But my stuff, I'm always like, oh, just sort it out. And I didn't do that this morning. So I threw this outfit together, but I'm really pleased with it. So I'm gonna, just going to show it to you now. So I'm just going to move the sofa. I've just realised it's quite close. So if I move that back there, I have got on this shirt. So this is a phase eight shirt. It's new in at the moment. It's got a lovely collar, nice button detail, uh, stripes that go. I'll take, should I take it off to show you? It's just really nice. It's quite spring refreshing had quite a lot of compliments so it is quite oversized and i went down in size so this is a size 10 i probably could have gone down for an eight but i always worry about the gaping but it's definitely still oversized so i've just tucked it in i've got on my is it mimosa Mim well, no it's definitely not that necklace the barbie one I love, I just put it on with everything. And then I've got on these jeans, which are kind of like culotte jeans. They're from phase eight as well. They're new in at the moment. And the model on the website is wearing them with boots. So I was just like, do you know what? I'm gonna try this look because it's far too cold. There we go, can you see? So I've actually got long boots on, which the model has on, on the website. And I think it, because it's all dark, it still makes me look taller. When I wore this previously, I wore it with little shoes and the bar, I think, cut off my legs, making me look shorter, whereas this hopefully makes me look slightly longer than the shoes. I'm always trying to make myself look taller because I'm so small. And so I always try to do, do that if I can. Anyway, I've got on a phase eight coat. This is one of my favorite coats that they have sent me. It's kind of like a jersey fabric. So it's really nice. It fits really nicely. It just it just ties in nicely on the waist here. It's got the pockets and then it does up around the bottom, but it just gives a really smart look. This is my lovely bag from phase eight. I get so many compliments on this. I think it looks a bit like Suzanne. It's just got this really lovely look to it. It's still on the website now. It was last time I looked. It goes really nice with me with the boots, which are hobs. But I love this outfit. I'm really pleased with it. And I will definitely be wearing it again. It's just started to pour down. I was going to head out for a walk now and get those steps in. So I'm instead going to go and get some work done. I've got quite a few client meetings online at the moment. And so I'm going to go and organise those for the next few days and next week. It's nearly Friday, I can't believe it's Friday tomorrow. And then I'm gonna try and head out for a walk later on. We've got haircuts this evening. Not mine, don't worry, all the kids. So it's a bit chaotic, but I wanna get it done before the Easter holidays so that they look a bit smarter. They all just, I don't know what's going on at the moment. I think it's end of term, everybody's knackered. Although I am not knackered. I was talking to some mums earlier today and they were saying how they're so tired and I was like, do you know what? I'm not. And I'm honestly genuinely not tired. Like I remember driving to school feeling like yawning, exhausted, so tired. And I think this iron stuff is working. I really do. Or something else has happened that's dramatically changed my life. But I'm taking it morning and evening, just a 10 mil like shot. And I've really, I just don't feel tired. I don't even feel tired going to bed. Obviously, and then I go to sleep and then I, and I've just been sleeping better. I don't know if it's that or not that. 
I've definitely been walking a bit more. That can't make you feel less tired. I've cut down on the caffeine as well. So I'm only having two cups of coffee a day, whereas before I'd have three or four um, tea thrown into. So I've really tried to cut down on my caffeine and I think it's helping. I would love to know if you've tried the iron stuff and if you recommend it. I don't know if it's like a long-term thing that I should do or not. So I'd love anyone, if you've got any advice about iron, please do let me so know. These have just arrived and I'm so excited to show you. Um, so you might remember ages ago, I organized for an artist to basically come to paint my children. And we went down to the river, I think it was like maybe May last year. Um, and this was kind of a present for my husband for his birthday. So the print has come, it's arrived. And yesterday I actually took it to the uh, framers. So the idea is that this is going to go on this wall here. And it's pretty much the same size as that painting. Can you see there? I want to get a new kind of sideboard to go across here and put this, this is a Neptune lamp and I've got another one over there and put it on the other side here. And then I'm going to have this, which is about one meter by one meter in the middle uh, with a nice kind of frame to kind of match the beams up here. So I spoke to the framer for a quite a long time last night or last night, yesterday, I mean, about the kind of frame that we needed and the mount, because I want it floating. I really don't like mounts that like a traditional mount. I like things floating out a bit like, should I show you the example I've got in here? So in here, we have quite a lot of our artwork, but this is how I love paintings at the moment. I think it's kind of like a trend to be framed. So sort of, I think it's just called floating, isn't it? But they're kind of raised out, but there's no kind of traditional mount, a bit like that. There's no mount. I just really love the effect of it. And it's made me kind of realize how important a frame is in a painting. Oh, this one's raised too. Uh, this was a print that I got, but I wanted it raised out. I just think it looks so much better than that. That just looks really cheap. It's a really cheap frame. And I just find what I used to do is just buy a load of, I don't know, Ikea equivalent frames. They don't last, they break, they all break here. It's, it's just a disaster. And I've got so many of them now that have just broken that I've decided I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm actually going to get things framed properly. So these two were framed properly. I've got a lovely, oh, it's down here. This one, look, oh, all these paintings that I need to sort out. This I love. So my husband, my husband bought me this, I think a couple of Christmases ago. Look, it's still wrapped up. I just can't work out where to put it. I think I want to put it in my bedroom, but to be honest, I haven't worked out what's going to go on in there. It could go in here, I suppose. It's got a lovely white frame, but it's by this lady called Claire. I think it's Fletcher. She's on Instagram and she has beautiful paintings and prints like this. So this is six of 250. And it's just something I really want to get into, collecting more art that I love and that means something to me but this is raised up can you see here there can you see it's sort of floating so there's no mount to it and I just think it looks really good the other piece that I've got which I love at the moment oh that's wonky is this so this is from uh Georgie Britton she's called I absolutely love the colors I can't really see because the light here but it's just beautiful. She paints the most beautiful landscape pictures. We've got this one and, oh, and this print. So this one is an original, which I got for, I think our 10 anniversary. My husband got that as well. He was quite good, isn't he? I forget he's quite good at these things. And so he bought that for, well, for me, for us. And then we were, she gave me this print, which was really nice of her as well. So I've got that being hidden by this plant. And that is a print, that's four of 25, so it's really nice. Anyway, going back to my new piece of art, which has uh, has arrived and is at the framers now, it is going to be this. Honestly, I'm so excited. It is taken Lucy, so this is the artist that did it, Lucy McElroy. Um, you can find her website there, and she's also on social media on Facebook and Instagram. And I'll try and put a link to her below because her work is absolutely stunning. If you're looking for some, a special present or something for somebody that's 
important in your life or just of your kids or anything like that then it's just such a lovely thing to do she used to be an art teacher and she did that for many many years and then has decided to go into this and i'm so pleased she has so this is actually a charcoal piece it is one meter by one meter and when it arrives back from the framers i am going to be showing you all I promise I'll be showing you the detail of it and the quality of it. But these are some cards that she's had made for us, which is a really nice thing to do as well. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to buy a print of it for Christmas presents, maybe for grannies, etc. But for now, we have the original. It's at the printers, at, printers at the framers. And when it returns, I will show it to you. Excuse the state of me, I'm off out for lunch today, so I'm just getting ready to go out. But I just wanted to say, I've used this. So this is the shampoo, the Harrogate Organics one, and the conditioner, and my hair felt amazing. I really like it because it's all kind of natural products. It just feels really nice in your hair. Obviously it's the first time I've used it, but I will continue to give you feedback Something's come in the post, that's why I thought I'd come on looking like this in such a state. It's from a company called Joe Browns. That's the, that's the thing, the packaging. Why are they using Christmas packaging? They must have, just have it left over. I went to an event in London, probably like autumn time. So I tagged along with a friend that was going, I wasn't invited, and we managed to get in because you have to be invited to these events and it was amazing it was really good it was like a very thought out brilliant event i do go to lots of events and lots of them are just awful and it's like why are we here what's going on what do you want us to promote there's no like information about it it's honestly some of you would not believe how shocking some of these events are and we all just sort of stand around going be doing there's no sort of talk or promotion or and it's just like this is bizarre this event was not that at all it was amazing it was really good we got there and it was in a sort of members club with like apartments and each apartment had been decorated in lots of joe brown's decor and then they obviously had the clothes but it was more about the decor really because they had some clothes in the wardrobe actually but it was really well done really buzzy atmosphere lovely food and canapes and I just remember thinking this is amazing why are all events not like this anyway on Friday I met uh, one of the PR ladies at the International Women's Day event that I went to and got chatting to her and I was like oh you know I went to this event and she was like I organized that and I was like no way I was like it was really good and I always tell people how good it was anyway I said oh, I had worked with Joe Brown before in the past but years ago and I've never worked with them since but I know a lot of people that do on Instagram and she was like oh let me send you some things so what have we got well, hold on I actually don't know what we've got because I just sort of let's have a look oh here we go this let me try and open this up so I can show you so what I really liked about this brand was they have a brief uh, that they sent out first of all they said we're we're looking at this kind of campaign at the moment. It was all about bright colours, spring. And so we wanted me to pick some bright things, which it was all quite bright actually through her, from their collection that I could promote and show you all. So first up, this is a shirt dress. It's yellow. I'm really into my yellow at the moment with my crew clothing jumper and then this as well. So it's got long sleeves that go down with the buttons at the bottom, lovely tie waist, and then it flares out at the bottom looks really nice so i have this dress and then there was a blue one i think yeah here we are blue i like shirt dresses i feel like they fit my shape really well they're very easy to wear you can dress them up dress them down and i just think they're very useful to have so this is a blue i mean this is all just feels so summery it's pouring with rain at the moment i'm gonna have to dig out my summer shoes i think so this is one of their summer dress collections it's got a nice v-neck little buttons i just thought this would be a really useful pretty dress for summer so it's got some sort of embroidery down the bottom there and then it flares out really lovely 
I have, I think, got a discount. No, I've got a link to it, I think. I'll try and put the link below, like a special link. So I've got those two dresses, which were lovely. And then, oh, very excited. Wow. How cool are they? I kind of want to wear them today. I can wear them today. Oh, it's pouring rain, probably not. Can you see if I get out of the picture? Da -da -da. They are so cool. They've got nice heel, haven't they? Their shoes are really quite sort of cool and trendy. I love the lining. Look at the lining. That's really nice. Yeah. Wow. So I've got these red shoes. I'm really into like red at the moment. Red with navy. Um, just looks really smart. I imagine like these with a lovely pair of jeans and then a white uh, t-shirt and blazer. Can't wait to get my blazers out. These would look so nice. These Mary Jane shoes are in everywhere. And a lot of them cut a lot higher. So the Hobbs ones, I've got cut really high above around my ankle, which is great, but I find that then it cuts off my ankle. I think my ankle is possibly the slimmest part of my body. And so it's probably better to not cut it off, I think. So I really love that. And then I've got this bag, which would go with the shoes. The problem is though, that that doesn't all go together. And this is what I do. I pick out things and then I think, how does that go together? It doesn't. So that's silly. Oh, it's, oh, it's like a little, wow. It's like a little, does it open up? Oh yeah, on the side, here we are. So it looks like this. Sweet, isn't it? I think it's got a strap as well. Yes. Got a strap. That is sweet. That's quite nice because I don't have any red. I think that'd be really nice to wear red like that. Beautiful. Thank you so much to the lovely Joe Brown's team. I'm going to put a link to them below. That is them if you want to find them. They do have some shops, uh, but I think that like I think there's one up here. But I've never been to it. I feel like I should go in and actually have a look. But this stuff's really nice. I'm going to try them all on, obviously, show them all to you in more detail so you can actually see what they're like. Um, but it's quite nice to be working with different brands. I tend to stick to the brands that I know that I love just because I genuinely love them. Like Elko Bennett and Hobbs and Phase 8. They're like my favourites. Uh, but then it's really nice to work with new brands as well and new PR teams, um, especially good ones like this. And they are, they seem like a really nice bunch, like really good. Um, so I recommend them. Right, I need to go and get ready uh, because I am supposed to be out for lunch in half an hour. <gasps> Is it? I know it's 20 past 11. Time's getting quite slow today and I keep thinking I'm going to be late and I will be late because I'm going too slow. Um, so I'm going to show you what I'm going to wear in a minute for lunch, my lunch date um, with friends. I'm back, hair's done, gone for a sort of lower curl so it's not so big. I have got on this lovely shirt. So this is a Hobbs shirt. I want to say it's silk but I suspect it's probably not silk, it feels silky. Um, so I'm not going to say that wrong. I've got on my heart necklace as well, which is a bit low. I wish it went a bit higher. It just goes down too far. And then I've got on my love, they're called Love All. They were Love Leggings, now they're Love All. So I've got on their jeans, if you can see here. So this is their high-waisted black jeans. I've got them in blue and I have them in black. Both really nice fit. They go really nicely high-waisted. They also do them in different leg lengths, which I love. So I'm going to put this on with these shoes. These are crew clothing. They're kind of new in at the moment. I wore them the other day. They're really comfortable. Um, I used to have the ones from uh, Mint Velvet. If you want to invest in some really nice loafers, then I totally recommend them. I sold them on Vinted and I regret doing that. I really do because they were really comfy and they were just really nice. But I had them in this kind of like creamy taupey colour and I was like, I just didn't wear them. And I should have got them in the brown because they were like butter leather, just really lovely to wear. Um, So I kind of regret doing that. So if you want to invest in some loafers though, I do recommend the ones in Mint Velvet. They bring them out every season. They're a staple of theirs, they must be. And they must sell so many because everybody loves them. These are a bit more harder leather, but they're still quite soft. I think I just need to wear them in a bit more. So I've got those. And then I was going to put on my black bag, but I feel like I need a brown bag now. 
not sure. This is my black bucket bag that I always use. Let me just show you. So I've got on the loafers here, you can see sort of if I move this chair out of the way. Oh, it's like musical furniture. So those are the loafers on. Really, really nice. Obviously I'm gonna be freezing, seeing as it's still winter out there, but oh well. Then I'm gonna put it on with my trench. This trench is from Hobbs. I've had it a couple of years now, but it is a staple every year. It's really good quality comes in petite amazing so i feel like this is but this bag is needed i think i'm going to switch from the black i do like to match if possible my shoes to my uh bags i just think it looks it looks like you've thought about it and actually finished off your outfit properly yeah so this is my outfit for today for lunch with the girls there we go i think that's quite smart um, and it's quite funny, I'm going with a load of girls that don't do any sort of social media at all, have no idea what it is. I think, I don't know what they think of what I do. I think they think, I just don't know what they think. They probably don't even think about it. But anyway, what's really nice is to have friends who are not part of any of this world. I absolutely love that. It just means that you get to talk about completely other things. Uh, vice versa though it is really nice to have friends that do this too but yeah I'm we're heading out today we're gonna, probably gonna go for brunch I think by the time we get there it'll be brunch I'm gonna go to Mark's as well just to get some treats for the weekend I do like to get a few treats in of nice food so I'm gonna go and have browse the the shelves of Mark's, have a little shop around there and then head for some lunch, hopefully get some nice bread for the weekend. We've got a busy weekend. I think we've got three parties tomorrow, two matches, one hockey, I think one netball and football thrown in, I think as well. And then we've got a quiet night on Saturday night. My husband's working all day Sunday. So it's busy as usual. I'm quite looking forward to the Easter holidays actually. I still haven't planned anything though. I really need to get my act together because when I get round to booking stuff, everything's booked up. So I need to sort out what we're doing that is on my agenda for the rest of today and next week. Anyway, let me take you to Marks and Spencers. I should also just say my hair feels really nice. I haven't got any product in it. So I kind of am expecting all these curls to fall out, but it feels like when you sort of run your hand through it, it feels really like soft. So I will keep using the shampoo and just reconfirming that I do think it's a good thing to buy, but I just wanted to fill you in with that one. Right, I need to go. Good morning and what a beautiful morning it is. It's literally glorious. There is blue sky for once. I am heading out, going to get my walk done. It's actually nearly lunchtime to be honest. I'm just being very lazy at getting out and moving, but I'm going to move to now because we've got about 10 million kids parties this afternoon. So it's all go. Anyway, I will be back later. I'm sure with some more updates, but for now I'm listening to an audiobook, which is actually really good uh, as I walk around. I finally put these little plants into pots, sitting on the doorstep for like weeks now, so I felt really sad for them. So I've just given them a really good water and potted them all up. I've just tried to sort out the garden a bit. I've just jet washed this but there's loads of rust marks it's my fault for not like putting it away but if anyone's got any tips on how to get out the rust marks i would love that look on here it's ruined I'm such an idiot so i like to sit out here and have a coffee in the morning it's got a really nice sun trap just on this area so i really like to sit there but yeah, if anyone's got any tips on how to get rid of the rust, I would love that. It's a really nice set. I think it was from Garden Trading and it was quite pricey. So I'm a real idiot for just like leaving it out. 
Uh, but anyway, this area is looking so much better. I can't wait for the sun to come out so I can sit here now that all the plants are out. They look really pretty. I hope that they last. I'm so bad at gardening. Nothing stays alive. <laughs> Good morning, I am doing the rugby run. Oh my gosh, I haven't done this for ages. So you have to park miles away in a really muddy field and it's freezing and cold. And I just remember doing this with my brother, and my mum. Oh my gosh, is there a shortcut? I've just found a shortcut, I'm so happy. So it was literally like a 10 minute mile run around where I'm gonna use the shortcut through a, through a field. Good morning. Oh, it's not morning. <laughs> you must get really annoyed with me saying that too. It is the afternoon. I have escaped uh, the chaos. I had a very muddy rugby boy um, who went in straight to the bath. And I never thought I'd be one of those rugby mums, but I'm turning into one. Yeah, no, we had a really nice rugby session, even though it was freezing cold, muddy and raining. Apart from that, I think it was good. I'm heading out now. I'm just going for a walk to get my steps in because I'm going to eat a roast. Um, on Sunday we have the, we normally have a roast that my husband cooks. I'm obviously going to do it. It's a bit of a disaster when I do it. But I'm looking forward to, I was gonna say I'm looking forward to Yorkshire puddings, but I can't make them. He makes them. So, and I haven't bought any. I'm not sure whether to even attempt to make some because it might be a disaster. Mm, not sure. Anyway, let's see what happens later on with my Yorkshire's, but I've got the chicken, I've got potatoes, I've got lots of vegetables, lots of green vegetables, which is good. I'm feeling really good about my week ahead. I've already planned it out with my productive method diary thing. I planned out the whole week till Friday anyway, not the weekend. It's quite a busy, crazy one. But what I've tried to do is on a Sunday, literally sit down a list, everything that I need to do. So I've gone through waking up, having a shower. I've literally written down all these things because this is what she advises, this Grace Beverly. If you're not listening to her podcast, they're really good. And in fact, I mean, I might do that now. I need a motivational podcast on this walk to prep me up for Monday morning. But yeah, I have listed out exactly what is going on this week. It's the last week of term, so it is quite busy. We're quite, quite a lot of stuff going on with the schools. So it's a bit, bit kind of chaotic. But anyway, I'm going to try and crack on. And I've got an event on Wednesday, which I'm really looking forward to in Harrogate. And some of my friends will be there. So great to catch up with them. But yeah, I think me trying to be more organised is a good thing, I hope. So finally, we are doing our nails. So we're using the Sassy Saints kit. We are Sassy Saints. I got this last week. Did I get it or did I get it this week? I can't remember. And Sophie, do you want to just show us? You're about to activate it, aren't you? We've not activated it yet. She's gone for a nice kind of pale pink. I've got a kind of like darker reddy colour. So if we find a nail where I've not gone over the edge, actually all of them have gone over the edge. Mm. I don't feel I can show you. They're really bad. I think if you if you did this and concentrated, it looks really good. So we've just done, let's find a good finger to show. Maybe this one. We've just done Phoebe's. So that is the kind of, what colour was that? So underneath are the colours. So this is called, what did you have? Fancy French. Fancy French, sorry, thank you. Right, so Fancy French. And then I've done this kind of red colour, which I thought I was doing this which would actually have been nice. It's like a pinky. So they're quite dark, which is not really what I wanted. So I've gone over the edges, um, as you can see. I'm hoping once I've sort of washed my hands and get rid of the kind of stuff that's gone around the edge of them, that they're going to look okay. Obviously, they're very short at the moment because I'm trying to grow them out. So far, I'd say we were impressed, aren't we? I think we would 
we just need to get better at putting it on and the whole process but actually it wasn't that bad was it no. about 20 minutes maybe but i think if we were a bit neater now the question will be how long do they last yeah two layers two layers yeah of the top coat so if you i'll do one more layer on phoebe's top coat so this is how you get it off in here no remove it no so i presume you then have to buy more what actually is it i don't know so i'm slightly worried about getting it off because like when you have them done with the the light and all that it takes forever to get them off and it's a bit of a nightmare so i'm hoping that this won't be let's see how long they last and what they're like this week but we are impressed aren't we yeah i'm very impressed i think i've got a discount code as well which i'll try and find for you if you're interested at all maybe let me see how long they last and whether i think it's worth investing because it is quite expensive and i'll come back to you this week mm -hmm.